hello guys welcome back to app sheet tutorial so after a long days uh, i'm going to create another video sorry guys due to personal work i can't able to create um, videos and i can't able to see your comments so today we're going to see about uh, how to create inventory management and how we are going to update a specific row using a referenced action so I mean basically the referenced action means so we're going to see about the action called set of execute actions in a specific rows so let's see so here for example this we have right so in this we're going to see about uh, this about this execute an action on a set of rows so we're going to create a two sheets and if we add a new row in another sheet we're going to add our inventory sheet so let's get started and i hope uh, some of the users have commented my voice is very low i just bought a new mic i hope my voice will be better in this video so in this for this inventory management app let's create a new app and start with your own data okay so for that First, we will create one spreadsheet. So, in this, let's create a spreadsheet called Inventory Management. Inventory management. Okay. So, because lots of the users will start with this action, execute an action on a set of rows. So that's why I want to make a video with an example inventory management. Because lots of people have asked doubts regarding this action. So for inventory management, let's create one inventory sheet. It's a simple example. So that's unique ID and product it's a quantity okay so this is our inventory the product name and how much quantity we have and the normal unique ID and the another sheet like purchase because we're going to purchase some quantities of the similar products so if we purchase then it will update the specific row for example let's say i'm giving uh, this unique id for example five products we have okay uh, let's say like product called laptop we have laptop mobile smart tv okay and let's see what we can see glass maybe glass maybe and glass that's it so each we will give some quantities so i have laptop 5 some random quantities we will give okay so this is my inventory now i'm going to purchase one of the product for example if i purchase smart tv for two quantities it needs to update this specific row right so this is the unique id so this unique id will be like so as the name specifies it's a unique one so i just created a random unique ids and if i'm so same thing copy paste so product quantity okay so but in this product column we're going to refer this inventory one okay so that we know which unique id i mean so unique id of this inventory so let's say product unique id okay yeah. not the exact product name the product unique id so this is the key column so the key column we need to re refer and we are updating that respective quantity 
so let's create the app of inventory inventory app uh, inventory management choose your data So we have created the app so if you are new to this channel just subscribe and if you like the contents hit the bell icon and like press the thumbs up so it will reach more people because that's where the youtube algorithm works so if you want to make this video to reach more people just hit the thumbs up okay so we have added the inventory so actually automatically added the inventory and we will add uh, another purchase table also okay so we'll go to the columns of the purchase table and this product unique id should refer inventory oh. so, then so this is unique id initial value is correct and let's check this also number text text so it's correct yeah we don't need to show this just hide this so now we will create a view for purchase okay so i'm creating a view for purchase items this is the purchase table Okay, purchase also it came here so we don't need this okay, so. so we have the purchase we, we don't have any items purchased yet and we have the inventory of laptop 5 mobile smart TV 5 so now if I am I am going to purchase a smart TV so for example smart TV three quantity it won't add up currently so now we need to update the specific row of this quantity so for that we are going to use the data action called set one second I'll just close this okay not here so, so we'll create a behavior okay so new action so in this we are going to click create this execute an action on a set of rows so which means we are going to execute an action uh, whenever you have added any row here we are going to execute an action on a set of rows which, which means in this specific rows whether it's one row or two row uh, but currently we are going to update only specific one row of this right so for that so which table is asking reference table is inventory so in the inventory table we are going to update those specific row for that we should calculate which row so we need to tell which row we need to update okay so i'm just giving the name updating quantity action updating inventory okay so this is the reference table as inventory and we need to create referenced action for this inventory okay so i'm creating a new action so this is for inventory this is for purchase okay so this action will goes to purchase because whenever if you add any new row in purchase we are going to execute an action on inventory with the referenced action with this action so what this action does is update quantity so 
so here set the values so this set the values of some columns in this row right okay so here I'm just changing the quantity what we are going to do is we are going to add that existing quantity so for that the formula will be columns quantity plus this row dot quantity okay. so this is the previous value of quantity which we have 5 and this row dot quantity will be the new value which comes from the purchase row okay. so this will update this and we will just reference this action but we need to mention this is the important part every people will get confused like from the reference table these are the rows to act on so we need to tell which row we're going to update so for example we purchase smart tv right so this is the ast125 so that particular row we need to update so we need to tell that specific key value key column so if you see here in this inventory so this is the key column right so while referring any row in this action while referring any row in this reference row you must specify that respective key column only not other column so you have to use this unique id of so let's but for that we are going to use so obviously this one two ISD one two five is this product unique ID right so for that we we'll just mention this row dot but since this is the column of yeah we we'll just say product unique ID and so we need to convert this to list type okay, because this is the list of row references it will ask so this row dot product unique id will give only one value right so we are converting that one value to list so then only it will work so now we created the behavior and actions now we need to trigger this action whenever a new row came so for that we are going to create an automation bot So create a custom bot so event will be add only okay so whenever anything gets added up in purchase we are going to add a step run a data action okay so updating inventory quantity action which we have created okay. so this is how the workflow works So whenever any row is getting added in the purchase quantity, we will triggering this action. So this is the action of updating inventory quantity action. This will refer the inventory table and we are telling which row we need to update. So this is the product unique ID. So this row will go here and it will update this one. So using this reference action okay so let's check it out mm. now we'll just delete this hope it will hope it will work without any errors oh what happened refresh and this is the important part in this reference row you must use the key column which means this value only these values it should refer not any other columns it will work only you should use so in this case 
this is the unique ID of this product unique ID so I have used this one okay so no other columns you shouldn't use in the reference row will be referred only by key column so I'm just adding a smart TV of one let's say two quantity we have already five quantities let's save okay now we'll sync so two quantity get added up smart tv oh it's became 10 okay oh sorry so i made a mistake so this is previously five right so the issue is uh, so in this reference action update quantity we have used this row dot quantity right so it's taking 5 plus 5 which means this is the same instance it's taking 5 plus 5 is not taking as 5 plus 2 so we'll again just change and we should take this one right so for that let's see which means this is the last row we can create a logic of fetch the quantity of the last row so in this way what you can do is select from the purchase column quantity and the row number will be max of Okay. So one, two. So there should be any because we are going to select only one quantity of the last row. Okay. So what does it mean is we are selecting the purchase quantity. From the purchase table, the quantity column, the last row. For example, if you add a three products, four products here, this is the last row, right? So from the last row, we are fetching and we are adding the quantity. Since we made a mistake of this row dot quantity, it's taking this row, this row dot quantity. So it's taking five plus five. It's a wrong one. So now it will work properly. So now let's say we will add the spyglass of purchase of spyglass we will add say three quantity and save I think initially it was one now it became four right so three plus one it became four okay so this is how this data value works i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something so if you like this video just hit the like button and most of the viewers are watching the video without subscribing so just please subscribe so that you will get the notification of the upcoming videos and let's check it out comments because lots of users are having doubts so we'll go one by one hi subhas prajap your video is very helpful 102 to heart oh thank you so much the video language is English so please put in Hindi or quote because very problem in understanding uh, sorry I don't know Hindi so maybe I I bought a new mic it will be helpful for you you may get a better clear voice and the caption also you will get YouTube will generate automatic English caption. Okay. So thank you. Hello brother. How to set up printer setting in AppSheet? 
so satya ranjan pradhan asked how to set up printer setting in apshi uh, sorry i don't know what do you what's your question so printer setting means so we want to print anything as a document if that's the case you can uh if it's you can generate as pdf just pdf and print from there so please watch the video of invoice generation so in this i have mentioned how to generate pdf this was the video of invoice generation can right pdf okay so i hope this will solve your problem because once you generate the pdf you can print from there okay give it thanks okay thanks welcome and and then let's see hi bye how we can auto save pdf invoice in mobile internal storage or set offline storage path sorry uh, app sheet doesn't store automatically it can able to generate pdf that will generate in google drive only as of now there is no option to save internal storage maybe once you generate the pdf you can download and save it in your local path maybe i don't know how this if you know uh, it will generate in drive can download and store in your offline file i'm not sure how this was as of now j l c h i a sorry i don't understand hindi what you're saying and thanks for the questions i have a question can you show how to deploy your app sheet to app in google play store for android okay so i will make a separate video on this how to generate aab bundle and uh, upload to play store for android so first you need to whitelist and it will generate the aab bundle it will take some time i'll create a separate video on this so today the comments section ran so rest of the comments sorry i i was busy in some other was i couldn't reply you so once in the next video we will see all of your comments okay i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so if you like just share and subscribe okay thank you guys we'll see in the next video bye bye